Now, I know that I'm a little bit late to the party, but since I heard that Pokemon was, you know, getting rid of Ash and he was no longer, you know, going to be the main character of Pokemon, I figured I'd take a look back at what I think is his best rival that Peace ever had in Pokemon, which was Paul. Also, he should have won Sinnoh League and Sinnoh League Best League Fight Me. Now I am, you know, what you I am what you would consider a, you know, Pokemon boomer. You know, like I only really watched up until, you know, like I say like generation five, generation four. So my modern Pokemon opinions are basically irrelevant. But I do think out of all the rivals that I did see Ash, you know, fight against and compete against, I think that Paul was his best one. And the one that actually was, you know, smart to me. Not to say that his other rivals were dumb, but Paul was like what we all wanted Ash to be, which was somebody who knows how to actually use a Pokemon right and properly and not just catch any of the ones that he thought looked cool. And yes, also, like I said in the very beginning of this video, I think Ash should have won Sinnoh League because if you look back at the, at the last battle that him and Paul had, it's the best one that they've had as far as like league championship wins. And it didn't really get any better from that, but I'll say that for a later part in the video. But I really do like Paul as Ash's rival because of all the rivals that I saw Ash go up against, it actually felt like Paul was actually giving Ash a challenge. And it actually felt like Paul was a professional, you know, Pokemon trainer. Because throughout all of the other rivals that Ash had, Paul was kicking Ash's ass like every time they fought. Like it was damn near like a uh, it was damn near like a clean sweep every single time him and Paul fought. Like even even in the league uh like semis I think it was when it was Ash versus Paul. Paul damn near he beat like what three Pokemon of Ash like back to back to back before Ash was finally able to you know like recover and get a win off of one of his Pokemon like Paul was beating the shit out of Ash like on a weekly basis and while that's not the main reason I like Paul is because he was beating up Ash and, and Ash's Pokemon it's because it made Ash actually you know have to learn about his team lineups and learn his Pokemon strengths and weaknesses and every single like little intricacy that they had instead of kind of just throwing shit at the wall and hope something sticks ash actually had to learn about his pokemon learn his matchups well and actually you know like think about stuff instead of just saying random pokemon number one go random pokemon number five go number two number three number four is actually having to you know strategize and everything because I guess you could say that's kind of like my main complaint about some of his other ones. And I'm just basing this off of memory. But from what I remember about all his other rivals, they never really gave him that much of a challenge. And most of them wasn't necessarily taken seriously. Like most of them were basically like there to just kind of just, you know, agitate him every now and again. And, you know, like, you know, to kind of, you know, just get on his nerves. And then, you know, every once in a while, they might get serious when they got to fight like Team Rocket. But Paul felt like a true rival. He felt like, you know, somebody who really could have beat Ash if you really think about it. Because obviously now in hindsight, they weren't going to do this. But as a kid watching this, I thought that as a kid watching this, I thought that Ash and Paul was going to be the finals for the league championships and everything. And I thought that Paul was going to beat Ash because in every episode, Paul just showed him up. Like his Electa Buzz would beat the shit out of Chimchar. It never really seemed like they would let Ash win. But obviously that but in the end obviously ash ended up beating paul but in in the beginning it was a good chance that paul could have beat ash and went on to the finals in, instead of you know ash going on to the finals and losing and i'll go ahead and touch on this since i've already mentioned it beforehand ash and paul should have been the finals for the center league ash and paul should have been the finals for the center league i'm gonna say it one more time for the people who probably didn't hear me ash and paul should have been the finals for for the Sinnoh League and Ash should have beat Paul in the finals of the Sinnoh League. I don't know how we went from the great battle that Ash and Paul had in the semifinals or quarterfinals or whatever it was and that not be the actual last battle to determine the league champion. Like even as a kid, I never understood that shit. It was the perfect way to end it. Infernate versus Infernate versus uh Infernate versus Electivire. And I never understood that like you couldn't top that. You could not top that last fight. You could not top that. It was the best last it was the best Pokemon fight of the entire series. So I don't know how you think you could top that in the finals because that was the finals as versus paul was the best part about that whole show 
but you have that great battle but then ash goes to the finals and then loses after that it's like you can't make ash lose after that i never understood why they did that if there was a time to give ash like his first championship i felt like this was the perfect one to give him his first championship because yeah i know pokemon isn't you know the most serious series but this was one of the only times that it felt like the rivalry between like ash and his rival actually felt like a rivalry it didn't just feel like it was some random side character there for comic relief but it actually felt like they were trying it actually felt like they were trying to beat each other and actually taking it seriously and that was one of the main things that i loved about paul being ash's rival he made ash take every time they fought seriously it wasn't just you know like oh i respect you but let's have a fun pokemon fight it was no i'm trying to beat you and beat the shit out of all your pokemon that's what it was it wasn't no oh i respect you so let's have this you know great battle because you're my friend is no i don't like you and i don't like none of your pokemon so let's fight now let's get into the real meat and potatoes of this video. I talked about it in the first part of the video, but Ash versus Paul was the best Pokemon battle of this season. Now when it comes down to like my criteria for like what makes a good Pokemon battle, the main things that I think of is how competitive is it, how good is the animation for the Pokemon, and does it really feel like it's fair? And what I mean by fair is like, does Ash just get, you know, outclassed and he just gets his ass kicked the entire time? Or can he actually compete? So competitive and fair kind of fall into the same category, but that's just how like I view Pokemon battles. How competitive are they? You know, do they you know how well do they tie up, you know, the storylines from, you know, earlier in the season and everything like that. And I feel like that, you know, Paul versus Ash does all these things basically perfectly like in the beginning you can say that you know as is kind of losing but he comes back and it feels competitive after that it doesn't feel like a complete wash on either side and the battle is a good back and forth without it being too one-sided and the ending with electivire and infernape is like the best like you know final pokemon battle like that i remember basically because like i said earlier i only watched the first couple of generations i didn't necessarily watch you know anything you know after like gen 5 or gen 6 or something like that but to me this one does it perfectly and it was the best one of the ones that i had watched because it always felt like either ash got outclassed or ash would just win too easily and it didn't really seem like it was a good back and forth it didn't really seem like it didn't really seem like you know ash could really it didn't really seem like Ash like was good at, at Pokemon battles at all. It just felt like he was just there because the other people he, that he fought just sucked. And then the, per then the champion that he has to fight was just like 10 times better than him. So it never really felt like it was competitive and that he was actually good at Pokemon battles. But honestly, that's just my overall opinion about, you know, Ash's rivals. And like I said, I don't know any of his rivals, you know, after like, you know, Gen 5. So I can't really talk about them. But I do feel like Paul was his best rival. I don't think I'm alone in that. But uh, yes, I do think that Diamond and Pearl is the best season because it just had, it's had some of my favorite Pokemon in there. And the Pokemon designs in Diamond and Pearl were one of some of the ones that I really, really liked. But Diamond and Pearl best season, that's kind of my confirmed opinion and paul was his best rival and let me know what y'all think in the comments below and i'm out